Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to discuss shared preferences. Shared preferences is used to save settings, properties, data that will persist even when the user closes the application. For example, if user sorts a list in ascending format, you can save it in shared preferences. And shared preferences is application specific. That means the data is lost on performing one of the following options, either uninstalling the application or clearing the application data. Shared preferences are stored in XML format, which means that they are in the form of key pair values. We can use shared preferences package in Flutter that is applicable to Android and iOS. So let's see how we can do this in code. First, you need to go to pubspec.yaml and add the shared preferences underneath Cupertino icons. You can check the versions from pub.dev and then click pub get. After this, we can add shared preferences inside our application. As an example, I have the default Flutter application. When you create a new Flutter application, you have this app that counts how many times you have pushed this button. What I'm going to do is to store that value inside the shared preferences. And when I press this button, this will display the number underneath the button. So let's start first by importing the shared preferences package. And then step two, we are going to define a value variable, which in this case is integer. And then step three is adding two lines inside the increment counter. The first line is shared preferences prefs you create a new instance of shared preferences and initialize it and get an instance. In the second line, you call set int, in this case because we are going to store an integer, and you pass the key, which is number, and the value, which is the counter. So in this function that is available in the default application of Flutter. When the counter is incremented by one, it is also saved inside the shared preferences. This was step three. Now step four, in step four, I create a raised button and then I assign a text. And then inside on pressed, I say that execute get int. What is get int? int get int is the function that returns the value from shared preferences similar to before we create an instance of shared preferences and we call get int and we pass the key and we store it inside the value variable that we have defined and then we call set state and underneath the raise button we have text that shows the value variable that is that is the value stored inside the shared preferences so whenever the button is pressed we call get int and inside the get int we get the number from shared preferences and we call set state to rebuild the whole application because here we change the value of value variable so it's going to be changed here so let's test this application i press this button one two three four this is the default application for flutter and then i press show data in shared preferences it is nine and then again i push the button now i press the button to show the data and it is 16. Again, how this works when we push the button and the counter is incremented, we store this value inside shared preferences. And when we click this button, the value is returned and displayed here. Let's close this application and go back to the 
menu and for example launch another application and then launch our application again we can see that the counter is back to zero and when we click the button show data in shared preferences we still have the old value inside the shared preferences so when the application is closed the value is still in the shared preferences so is there a way that we can see what is stored inside the shared preferences yes we can see it in android studio we go to device file explorer and we expand it if you don't have this option you can go to view tool windows and then you select device file explorer inside here you expand data folder and you expand data folder again and then you find your application here that is stored by package name my application is this one you expand it and you go to shared prefs and you see an xml file if you open it you can see that this is the key number and this is the value 18 which is equal to the value that we have at the moment in the application and you can see that i was testing the application before and stored this string and it is still in the shared preferences so we mentioned that in the shared preferences we have the functions of get int and set int what other options we have for saving the data and getting the data from shared preferences i have prepared a text file that shows you all the methods inside the shared preferences package for example to save data you can save string variable using set string you can set integer variable you can set double variable or you can set boolean variable and when you want to read these values you can call get string get boolean get int and get double and if you want to remove data you just say prefs which is an instant of shared preferences package dot remove and you pass the key to your shared preferences record and that will remove the key and value pair and it is possible that sometimes you need to check whether you have some certain key inside the shared preferences we can do this by calling contains key and then you pass the value this returns a boolean variable that shows whether the key is available or not how to update the data you just reassign the value just like what we did in this application we just assign the number which is the key to different values so inside shared preferences we have the same key number and the value changes every time we want to save data so that's how you update your key value pair inside the shared preferences data remember that the shared preferences is a good uh, package when you want to save simple string integer boolean or double values but if you want to save an image for example it is better to use other databases in flutter i hope this was helpful that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe I will see you in the next video.